Hello everyone. Last time we were trying to figure out how to approximate the partial derivatives in the 1D form of Maxwell's equations for a plane wave polarized in the z-direction and propagating in the x-direction. We determined that central differencing should be fairly easy to implement and it is also second order accurate. compared to forward or backward differencing. So now let's apply central differencing to these partial derivatives in Ampere's and Faraday's laws. Let's consider Ampere's law first. Let's solve Ampere's law at position i. So grid position i. So this is located somewhere along the x-axis of our one-dimensional grid. So let's say this is x. I'm going to say this dis discretized point is i, and here is i plus 1, and here is i minus 1. Consider first the left side of Ampere's law, dhy dx. We want to apply central differencing to this partial derivative at position i which means we need an hy value both to the left and the right of position i in order to evaluate this partial derivative. But remember, we're going to be applying Ampere's law to every grid point in our mesh. And so the position i plus 1 already gets us to the next position in our grid where we want to evaluate Ampere's law again. So when we sample the hy's both to the left and the right of position i, we should use hy's that are halfway between i and i plus 1 and halfway between i and i minus 1. If we do this, we get for dhy dx, we get, we'll say it's about equal to hy i plus 0.5 minus hy at position i at minus 0.5, all divided by the distance between them. And since we had said the distance between i and i minus 1, all the different i's, is delta x, this is also going to be delta x. So I'm going to put a delta x here. Now what about the right side of Ampere's law? See if you can apply central differencing to the partial derivative of the electric field on the right side of Ampere's law. 